Hello friends, welcome to Unreal Engine video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood how to work with projects in Unreal Engine. We understood how to create new projects in Unreal Engine, how to open already created projects in Unreal Engine, etc, etc. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how to work with levels in Unreal Engine. So let's get started. I minimize the word. First of all, I am going to create one new blank project. How do we create new blank project guys? I double click on Unreal Engine shortcut available at the desktop. You can see that Unreal project browser window got open. In the left section, I select games project category and then I select blank project template. Blank project template creates a clean empty project with no code. As I want to create new blank project, I have selected here blank guys. Under project defaults, project type I select blueprint, target platform, desktop, graphics quality maximum. I don't want to add starter content, so starter content untick. I don't want to calculate any real time high quality lighting effect, shadow effect, so ray tracing disabled, that is untick. Project location desktop and the project name I give new blank project. Then I click on create button. That is how we create a new blank project right guys you can see that new blank project got open in the unreal editor as well as it has opened open world untitled level open world untitled level untitled means this level is not yet saved if you want you can save this level or create a new level i want to create a new level so whenever we want to create a new level we go to file menu say new level guys we get a new level window with set of new level templates. The difference between these templates is set of actors by default placed in the level when you create a level guys. The difference between these new level templates is set of actors by default placed in the level. For example, if I create a new level using the basic new level template and say create, if I go to outliner window, you can see that by default, it has placed few actors in the level. Floor, directional light, exponential height fog, sky atmosphere, sky light, sky sphere, volumetric cloud. If I select the floor and press the F key, see there is a floor available guys. And we have the directional light, exponential height fog. These are all by default placed. If I go to file, say new level, select the empty level and say create. You can see now we don't have any actors. There are no actors by default placed. We have to place the required actors one by one. De depending upon the requirement of the level, we have to add the actors one by one. If I go to file menu, say new level and select open world template and create a new level. You can see this time we have different set of actors placed in the level. Instead of the floor, we have landscape here. We have a terrain placed. We have world data layers. We have world partition minimap, right? If I go to file and say new level, select the empty open world new level template and say create. This time you see we don't have landscape. We don't have exponential height fog. We don't have directional light. We don't have sky sphere, right? Instead we have world data layers and world partition minimap. That's it. So the difference between I go to file, say new level. The difference between these new level templates is set of actors by default placed in the level guys. Understanding? Let me select this time I am going to create a new level using the basic new level template and click on create. So that creates a new level with these default actors guys. We are going to understand about these actors in the upcoming classes. Don't worry. Now we have created the level. Okay. We have to understand how to save the level. So before that I am going to place one cube here. I go to create button, shapes and say cube. You can see that the cube is placed and now I want to save this level. How do we save a level? Go to file menu, say save current level as. In the content folder, I am going to create one new folder by right clicking, say new folder. I name this as levels. In Unreal Engine, levels are also called as maps. So if you find a folder name with the name maps, don't get confused. Levels, maps, both are same. So select the levels folder and here you give the level name or the map name. I say here level one 
and then I click on save. You can see the level is saved. That's how you create a new level and save guys. Let's create one more level and save. I go to file menu, say new level. I select the basic template, say create. We created a new level. It is untitled, you can see that. Go to shapes here and say sphere. That places the sphere guys. Okay, now I want to save this level. How do we save the level? Go to file menu, save current level as select the levels folder because we want to put all the levels in the levels folder. Here I say level 2 and then I click on save button. That's how we create new level and save guys. Let's understand how to open a level. At present level 2 is open. Now I want to open the level 1. So how do we open level 1? Go to file menu, say open level and then locate the level that you want to open. I want to open level 1. I say open. You see now the level 1 is open. I want to open level 2. How do we open level 2? Go to file, say open level, locate the level that you want to open, say open. See level 2 is open. So that is how you create a new level, you save level and open level. I hope you guys have clearly understood. If you go to content drawer window, here we have levels folder, inside that we have the levels placed. If you want to open a level, you can also double click on the level guys. At present level 2 is open, if I double click on level 1, now the level 1 is open, you can see that. If I double click on level 2, the level 2 is open. Understanding? So that is how you can open the levels by going to content drawer window also guys. You can use control space bar to hide the content drawer and open guys. Okay, control space bar. Now we know how to create new levels, how to save levels, how to open levels, right? Next we understand how to set the default level of the project. If you go to edit menu, go to project settings, go to maps and modes. Here editor starter map is set to open world. Game default map is also set to open world. If I close this, close this project. If I open the project, let me open this project. How do you open the project guys? We go inside the folder, double click on the file which says unreal engine project file. If I double click on it, it opens the project in the editor guys. You can see new blank project got open and also you can see that it has opened the open world level. It has opened the open world untitled level. Actually whenever I open the new blank project, I want to see level 1 should get open. So what we have to do for that? We have to go to edit menu, project settings, maps and modes, editor startup map, we have to change it from open world to level 1. We can also change the game default map to level 1. Game default map indicates when we package this project, when we create a game, when the user plays the game, the level 1 will get open guys. Understanding? Okay, I close this, I close this and now I reopen the project. I double click on it. This time when I open the project, you will see level 1 opened instead of open world untitled level. You can see this time the level 1 got open. Why? Because in the project settings we have told. Okay, now I go to edit menu, say project settings, maps and modes, editor startup map. I change from level 1 to level 2. Game default map, I change one level 1 to level 2. What happens now? Whenever I open the new blank project, level 2 gets open guys. I close this, I close the project, I open the project again by double clicking. You can see the level 2 is open, right? So that is how you set the project default map. I hope you guys have clearly understood. That's it guys for this video tutorial. I hope you guys have clearly understood how to create new levels, how to save the level, how to open levels and how to set up default level of the project. For this video tutorial, this much is enough friends. If you like this video, hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Unreal Engine. Keep learning, keep gaming, keep sharing. Thank you guys, thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.